What is going on guys, Son of Beast here. Game 3 is next as Utah Jazz are at Dallas playing against the Mavericks. Last time it was Chris Stapps for Zingas, KP. But we're finding out who will be the next Jordan player of the game. As it was Jordan, um, I, I thought that was supposed to be uh, Jordan Clarkson as I forgot to mention. But um... I just kept changing on my mind lately as I just never got a chance to do any of um, parts that, that comes up with Jordan Clarkson or any players. And, and after all I've recently figured out, it's it's just worse. Anyways, the, the game three's on. As we're about to be seeing something familiar of KP and LD against Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. There's a lot more than there's a lot more players than just uh, than just Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell, but there might be a lot more to come. Right now, let's get you right over to uh, American Airlines Center and see what this will be. This is going to be very exciting. Can't wait. The Margaret Hunthill Bridge and the state flag of Texas looking majestic tonight. We're coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. It's nice that we like to, to like to have uh, the Dallas uh, court looking really familiar. But this game, it might be a very nice uh, look between Dallas and Utah. A great, great game here as we're showing here from round number two. And right now, on the sideline, it will be the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Here breaking the action here about the Western Conference matchup. A lot of teams are going right from back to, from bottom to top. Well, LA still has more possession, finding its way to go win the NBA Finals. A lot of, a lot of teams looking really good. I mean, a lot. They have a lot more coming They're good right now. A lot of everything's coming out really hard. Dallas Tech City over to David Alden. DA, update for you. Head coach Quinn Snyder is trying to help the Jazz break through in a crowded Western Conference. Snyder said, there's always challenges and I'm comfortable with adversity. I just want to keep the right perspective. I've got something that I love to do. Kevin, he is one of the biggest reasons the Jazz is always a factor. DA, thank you so much right now. As for Quinn Snyder, still talking to his team, trying to give up, to get back at the points again. Here are the starting lineups, and the key matchup will be Donkic against Mike Conley, and then Curry against Donovan Mitchell. That's what it's going to come down to. But right now, game three is all ready to go. Both city jerseys are on after game seven with, with the Jazz with the win over OKC. Th four to three. Right now, the series is like is two to zero. And see what we have right now in game three. And it's going to be Utah Jazz, the third win in the jump off series. Of the jump tip off. Up top, Gobert. Gobert against he Powell passes to O'Neal. Oklahoma City. Six happened right here after game five. Six points for Rudy Gobert. Donovan. But down to the top, the foul is going on. Powell is reaching foul. The shot clock will be reset to 14. A lot of shots are going mistake here for. For Dallas Mavericks, but they need to keep an eye on it again. Steve Smith still here, and with Greg Anthony and Kevin Harlan. Five to go. Rudy Gobert tries one. His first shot is no good as Luka Doncic grabs his first rebound. Passes to Powell. Finding motion on its way. Donkic outside to shoot three. Good! Three-pointer for Donkic. That's his first basket of the night in game three. Assist by Powell. Conley rolling over to O'Neal. Passes it back to Conley. Donkic against Conley. The step back. 
Powell pulls it up with the rebound. Here's Dallas. Dallas in the other way. Curry. Over Bogdanovich. And there's a foul on Bogdanovich. His first personal foul on Utah. The Mavericks, shooting their first the Mavericks will be shooting their first free throw for Seth Curry. Numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. Right now, two shots will be Seth Curry. His brother Seth Curry is watching the game. Seth Curry hits the first free throw. And Seth Curry, he definitely played uh, since his last time uh, with the Dallas before transferring to Portland Trail Blazers. And then after he played in Portland Trail Blazers, he, he decides that Portland wasn't the only spot that I would really, really like to go for. But I would like to take it back from uh, Dallas Mavericks. And the officials say that uh, they really like to see Steph Curry come back with uh, come back to uh, the Dallas Mavericks with Luka Doncic because uh, because that's how it happens before. Wow, Doncic finds a steal. Howell with a shot. That's his first basket for uh, for Dallas. Assist by Doncic. And also the difficult. No stepping forward drive, only just a jumper shot on the outside of the paint. A slow start here for Utah. Slow start for the Utah Since as they the trail by seven. Game, Greg, you look at the young Luka Doncic. What impresses you? What impresses you here, Greg? His game. Uh, well, Kevin, you just don't see many players his height who can handle and, and make step back threes. Also, his confidence. He came into the league never doubting that he could dominate a game and. Don't forget about his brilliance as a passer. Luka Doncic with a strong move, but it's recovered by Brzingis, following up by Donovan Mitchell's floater shot. On the wing is Doncic. Hardaway Jr. trying to find a shot. Three-pointer is off the line as Rudy Gobert got his first rebound. They're changing their the progressive. They're changing the possession. After February 10th, after the, they put a win against Dallas in the regular season. But this might be the only one that was never happening before. How does that really know? After Powell with the takeaway, Hardaway Jr. going again. From three Another off target for uh, Powell on each shot. One from the corner, uh, one of each wing. He doesn't hit that he doesn't one. That'll be Powell's two rebounds and only one assist. Powell passed to Donkic. Donkic passing to Hardaway Jr. Whoa, heavy there, but, but solid D was on Donovan Mitchell. He brought hustle, he brought energy, and he brought it on the glass. Oh, what the dump for Donovan Mitchell. Man wide open, Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. Four points for Donovan Mitchell, under 3.30 left. Powell passed to Hardaway Jr. With the straps crossover, Donkic. Over O'Neal, the floater is good as Donkic is adding up it to another two-pointer. And certainly not. And certainly not the only uh, not the only free dive he was going to take it for from outside. But his shooting inside from the paint comes off handy. Conley against Donkic. Only five points for Donkic. Shot from 15 is off. The putback for Gobert is off target. Fouls going on D.Y. Powell is first. The Jazz shooting their initial free throw. Jazz will be shooting their first free throw. And taking a look at the numbers on the And Rudy Gobert will go to the line to shoot two. Of those foul shots. New changes are coming up after the first shot. The first one falls. First one falls in. Well, if you ask Here are some new changes. Ed Davis comes in for Madonovich. O'Neal checks out. You know, Ingles, Clarkson, and Rudy are checked in. And game. for uh, Dallas, Luka Doncic, Curry, Tim Hardaway Jr., Cleveland, Smith, Collie Stein, and Bright, and Brunson 
Or right, checked in. Bobert hits two free throws. Clarkson, he's checked in for Mitchell. And it's Moutier in for Mike Conley. He's a great Brunson he's passes up to Vinny Smith. Vinny Smith rolling over to uh, right. Carly Stein. And here is Carly Stein. Carly Stein passes to right. Shoots from the shot and point, Pete. And for big man like Gobert, the big man Gobert rebounded it again. Moutier not, not picking up the pace. But there's a dunk. Also the shots. He alters. His presence alone creates doubt in the mind of shooters. Oh, how about using the rim to get some Moutier against Brunson. Kleba against Davis. Finds Smitty Smith. At the Kleba. Kleba. Screen on Finney Smith. Just five on the clock. Dallas needs, Dallas needs to find a shot. Here's Brunson. First shot is good. That's two points for Brunson. That can be the difference between. That can be the only difference between uh, offense and defense as Dallas lead by three. There's 154. Just under two minutes left. Moutier against Brunson. Only two points for Moutier and two points for Brunson. But it's still tied up for the points. I'm telling you, it's not. It's not really easy. Six on the shot clock. Davis missing out this first shot. Willie Carly Stein will kick his first rebound. Here's Carly Stein. Carly Stein pass to Brunson. Passes to Carly Stein. They get a hand on it. His ball is off. Ingles takes it away. His first turnover. Out to the wing. Out to the wing. Moutier. Moutier's first shot goes in for three and ties it up by. 11. I like that play by Joe Ingles. Doesn't have anything he Passes wants. Passes to Kleba. The ball moving. Right outside. Right two men are covering, but it might be not. Might not be Here's too Brunson. soon. Rudy Lost his shot. Brunson keeping an eye on the rim, but it might be fade away off target. To the middle. It's tipped. Mavericks ball! Last touch by Moutier. Look at the numbers for England. How's the last month of basketball been for him? He's getting around eight points a game, five assists, and three rebounds. Yeah, he's been making yep, Ingles is doing really well. Trying to keep an eye on the crime team. Brunson for three. His three shots no good, and he went on a full bar, but that didn't change his ability. Oh, no block on Carly Stein, and this will calls on Dallas. His first personal foul on Willie Carly Stein. Clarkson was saying, saying, if somebody hurts me on, on the side, they better not, they better not reject me down. This isn't the WWE. This is basketball. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that I'm I'm just a just a weak shooter, but I'm always good. Carson will go to the line to shoot two to break the tie. His first shot's good. Free throw drops it in, and Morea has checked in for Brunson. He is a second round pick, a, a little unsung for most of his career. And yes, Jalen Brunson is the third pick for uh, second third pick in, since 2018 in the second round for draft pick. And he can't, hit the, he can't hit the second one, so that one still lead, still lead. So Jazz still lead by one. Kleba past the Berea. Back to Kleba. Oh, uh, recovered it. It's, Berea, it's Kleba. Berea shot. Went off wide. That's the first three. Comes up with a miss. Ingles around the other hand. Ron Gobert, Gobert's shot's good. And the Jazz. Jazz nice leading team. by three. Nice job by Rudy Gobert. Vice meter for Berea. The first shot's off, and the second shot is off as the first quarter has ended. It's the 14 to 11. It's the Jazz lead by three. From the American Airlines. And we'll be back at the American Airlines Center prior to this. We really keep going to coach like that. He really uh, takes everything, you know, uh, with heart and he wants us to be the best defensive team in the league as I do and I think 
when the coach and the players are on the same page, usually, you know, good things happen. His appreciation for uh, for Quinn Snyder isn't just the only way that he can say his uh, have your appreciation, but his appreciate. But but one thing I'm saying is Quinn Snyder was the best coach that he that they ever had, been. and he did help us out to give us a good uh, coach by each uh, by each player. Is that are working really good around offense and defense. After the after the shot for uh, Willie Cauley Steins off, Rudy Gobert has his first personal foul. This wasn't changing since last game in game two. Willie Cauley Stein will shoot two. Taking a look at the Jazz, Davis is out there with Joe Ingles. And it's Rudy Gobert. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. And it's Moutier in at the one. First free throw. Nice shot for Willie Cauley Stein. I think, uh, Willie Cauley Stein. Lived up to his draft spot, uh, being I think this is what happens here after he got traded from the Warriors. And, and you knew that a big man like Carly Stein would take a few years to develop, but at a legit seven feet and, and great length, he is everything you could hope for in a starting center. He has for two free throws. They're trailing by one. Carly Stein has his first basket of the night. The four players. Rudy A passes to Clarkson. Best of all time. So I'll ask you. 640 left. Almost took a takeaway for Willie Cauley Stein, but there's no reaching foul on Willie Cauley Stein. Clarkson for a three. That first miss for Clarkson is off wide. Maverick still trailing by one. Pass to Finney Smith. It's covered by Joe Ingles. Finney Smith. Ingles covering. Correa outside. Correa looking for an opening. Round the back pass. Back dribble. Shot for Correa went off. Went off target. Following this one, they get the The foul's going on right. His first without seeing Finney Smith right in the paint. Top rebounders for uh, for Rudy Gobert was just un unstoppable. Only Drummond was in first place, 15.2. But Rudy Gobert only has 13.7 on his rebounding career. His fans were saying that was not enough for the rebound. He has to keep it going and try to get that back in time. Two shots for Clarkson. We throw good. Throw good. Here's a different look for Virginia Dallas and Utah. Rudy Gobert is stopped out. Davis is checked and back in the center. Madanovich and to making some changes. Bogdanovich is checked Mitchell. in for Gobert. And it's Mitchell in for Emmanuel Moutier. One shot for Clarkson. And both free throws. Both free throws for uh, Clarkson's good. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Donkic coming back on the court. Donkic to Porzingis. Our way back to Porzingis. Porzingis, Porzingis with Donkic. A drive. Great D that time for Ed Davis from a good uh, defender. But he might be a little bit off and didn't shoot, didn't, wasn't ready to shoot to his for a game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Hardaway Jr. for three. Good on the outside. As Hardaway Jr. will take the first free look after assist by Porzingis. You got to have a look for my Hardaway Jr. He's, he definitely has this guy's first basket at three. I was been bringing here. Davis on top of the key. He kicks it off to Clarkson. Scoreboard has, has been tied up by 16. And blocked by Porzingis. Great D for uh, for Kleba as Porzingis will grab his first rebound. Uh, tight D that time for Ingles, but he definitely did stop it. In the other hand, it was Hardaway Jr. with a nice solid D. Outside, Brzingis. Brzingis covered by Ed Davis. Donkic outside. Donkic rolling over to Tim Hardaway Jr. Screen on Brzingis. Shot for two. 
And there's a foul on Ed Davis, his first personal foul. And R.O.A. Jr. will go to the line to shoot two to break the tie. Nice screen for Kristaps Porzingis and tough shot here from Hardaway Jr. for coming from the from the box uh, right next to the paint. Hardaway Jr. didn't realize he was going to get there in time. Not too long. He's uh, he's now taking two shots. Hardaway Jr.'s first shot goes in. Royce O'Neal is checked in for Ingles, and Conley is checked in for Clarkson. As Mitchell switches off to the shooting guard. Curry, Donkic, Porzingis, and Powell are back on the starting five. Same thing for Utah. Hardaway Jr. with a solid free throw and stays focused. Here are some difference between Utah and Dallas free throws. Only a hundred percent. That was like that was like quick enough to get there. Powell pulling it in, taking the rejection, taking the rebound off of Ed Davis. Oh no, not the starting five for uh, for Utah Jazz yeah, by the way. Far away with the drive. This shot, good is off the mark. Good D for good rebound for for Bogdanovich. Trailing by two. They're trailing by two. Davis, Robert to Mitchell. Here's Mitchell. We can get it back. Three outside. It's off target, but they get it again. And Davis did not seem to get his first shot back in. Donkic passes to Curry. It's blocked by Donovan Mitchell. Oh, he got it! Powell went early that time. He didn't seem to call the foul. But there is a trouble. Powell seems to like he was getting off target here. Didn't seem like he was going to get there in time. Nice, nice jump in motion for Donkic and uses the glass board. To, uh, to come in. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Right around uh, Bogdanovich. Donkey just got seven points. Utah going 0 to 2. Under three minutes, 20 to 18 is your score. Conley against Curry. The floater is good for Conley. Timeout called by Dallas. Stop the clock at 2.47. And a lot of players need to get some hydration, rehydrate. And we'll get back on the court in just a bit. A different look here as Dor Dorian Finney-Smith is checked in by F Tim Hardaway Jr. Ed Davis is checked out as Rudy Gobert is checked back on the court. And then it's Brunson checked in for Donkic. And Hardaway Jr. out as Dorian Finney Smith is checked back in once again. Around Royce O'Neal. And we got a loose ball foul on Porzingis. That called a, that called the first personal foul on Dallas. That'll be their second team foul for uh, Dallas. A little worried about Porzingis having a lot of time out of ability. And there's the pass to go there. Passes right over to Mitchell. Pass to Conley. Outside Conley. Down low. Good spin move. Gobert can't hit the can't hit the two points. Porzingis back in the other way after the loose ball foul was going on Porzingis. Curry, Porzingis for three. Fires off to wide and didn't seem that he was going to get ready to get the shot in. Mitchell with that dunk and the finishing drive is putting it in. Under two minutes left, 22 to 20 is your score. As the Jazz lead by two. Screen on Porzingis. Pass to Brunson, and it's rejected by by Gobert. With the shot, Brunson. It's rebounded by Porzingis, and the shot clock keeps good going. 
That one's off the target here as O'Neal tries to stop it. Here's Mitchell. Mitchell shot. Went off target. It's good for Gobert. Six points on the board. Just a minute left. Brunson pass to Curry. His first shot going for it. Yes, he does. Curry's got his first basket. A three. And just only two points. That was not like enough. Conley going over to Bogdanovich. And that's Porzingis with the block. And two time. Gobert can't hit. What a what a block by Porzingis he that he does. Here's Porzingis. Great shot here as assist comes up by Seth Curry. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Porzingis with just the first basket of the night. Under 30 seconds, here's Conley. Coming off the hot, coming off cold here. Screen on Gobert. Off wide for a three target is no good. Best to Powell. Under 10 seconds left. Outside, Porzingis. With the buzz meter, the shot will be off as first half has come to a close. As Dallas lead by one, one of each teams are definitely having its spot. Here's the yay. Thank you, Kevin. With Coach Quinn Snyder, Quinn, what has to happen in the second half? Well, we got to keep getting stops. And really just make plays. Make plays on the offensive end and be solid defensively. No, no magic. Pretty simple game, right, Coach? Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David. Okay, David Elridge, thank you so much. And American Airlines Center will be returned right after this. As we're looking at the top performers, we're ready to start the second half. As we're showing what is off here for Rudy Gobert with just six points and Porzingis with just two points. Donovan Mitchell, not just the only person that was ready to go, but he's already been playing for just four seasons. Eight points, 11 minutes on the court after a 2017 draft pick for, uh, for Utah Jazz. And as we get started in the second half, here's Donkic. Only has seven points giving him off the board. Seems like he needs to get something else here. Mike Conley has his first personal foul. Not just the only, not just the only one that we were looking at. I don't want to stop anybody out. We just started. Powell passed the Donkic. Inside is Porzingis. The great D for Bogdanovich, that he, that he was definitely pulling it up. And we got a block by Powell. Curry back in the other way. Powell for three. And not a good shot here for Powell since the number shot went missing. It's a one point game. One point game. Conley against Powell. Right around Gobert is Powell. Mitchell against Curry. Trying to figure it out. Down through the hoop and they're back up in the lead. 10 points for Donovan Mitchell. 8 points right in the paint. They're beating somebody else at the rim trying to keep it safe. Curry passed to Porzingis. Back to Curry. Back to Curry. Curry. Back to uh, Donkic. Here's Doncic. Curry trying to break free. With a shot for uh, for Doncic is off wide. A real slow start here. A little slow here for a uh, second half, but Mitchell has 12 points. The Mavericks seem to have found it. Porzingis shooting the three. Wide open look, no good. Picking last year's draft had a rookie season for the ages. Here's another wide open look. That's out of bounds. It's down. It's Mavericks ball. Tim Hardaway Jr. He's only has been playing for just the last three days on the court. and two assists. What is shot is what? What's his next shot if he if he wants to keep it going? 
14. He's a predecessor. He someone to build your has a lot of the, has a lot more shots than he could do. Here's the block on Rudy Gobert. Here comes Mitchell. Here's Mitchell. And uses the layup to convert a number two. Porzingis calls timeout. 30 to 25 to score. Just 4.57 left as Donovan Mitchell is pulling out the show, all ready to go. Mavericks are looking for our new changes here. He's checked in for Dwight Powell. Maxi Kleba comes in for Porzingis. And it's DeLon right in for Curry. Now Luka Doncic pass to Kleba. Kleba to right. Shoot, shooting ability right from uh, Luka Doncic as he really needs to go through. And the jumper, jumper for Doncic with the jump play screen only grabs him two. Nine points for uh, for Luka Doncic. Conley, Conley against Doncic. Try to get a shot. The foul's going on Willie Cauley Stein. His second. It's been going too much here for defenders and trying to block all way from a ball. They try to like reject it from here. Willie Cole Stein never got a chance to uh, got to block the ball. It went too late on it. Mike Conley will shoot two. Free throws. His first shot for Conley is good. Well, lately we have seen star players changing teams more often. Shorter contracts, player options. Smitty, is there any downside to any of them? You know, I think the downside is from a fan standpoint, you get invested in a player and he's moved in like two or three years. Um, I think it should be where if a player wants to sign... Well, Conley did take the second free throw, but he only Conley. had one. But right now, with these shorter contracts... Conley signed past the Hardaway Jr. Always be a lot of movement. Free for Kleba. Good! Outside from range. Kleba's got his first basket. Assist by Tim Hardaway Jr. Passing the floor, now they're shrinking the floor. Jazz going 3 or 4 on a field goal. Oh, Donovan Mitchell. The foul's going on. Cauley Stein is third. Yeah, that's not good for Willie Cauley Stein as Donovan Mitchell was looking for something special. For the shooting guard position. Find something out what his next step. Along with the Going for a win in game, game three, a win in game design. four. I don't, I don't know. They, they've never been on the series that time. They, they probably have to get back in. Two shots for Mitchell. Mitchell shot's good, and here are some new changes for Utah. Eagles has checked in for O'Neal. He never got a chance here, but only two points were allowed on the board. Same thing on the number, number two. First basket of the night. Definitely looking all right. Needs to get back in. A lot more. Donovan Mitchell hits two free throws. And you ask around, his coaches and teammates love Donovan Mitchell. The way he carries Don himself. Kitch, really passing over to right. Upbeat, but also a born competitor. Don Kitch out back outside. Oh, almost lost it here. Right to Kleba. Here's Kleba. Here's Kleba. And we got a foul on McDonovich, his second. Personal foul, that Maxi Kleba would feel like he wants to get to the free throw line. He wasn't sure he was ready to make that leap. And you know, Kevin, it was the NBA players he was working out with in the summertime who told him. And yes, we did. We did know about Donovan Mitchell. He was already been ready enough uh, since the last two years uh, when he wasn't right, when he wasn't sure when he was going to get on the court. He might be the rookie of the year, but not that long. He, he's in the all-star. He's in the all-star team. Look for Rudy Gobert. I 
Yes. Well, Debo will get the first free throw. With some changes. Clarkson comes Utah in. Utah with some changes. And it's Moutier. Conley and Bogdanovich are subbed out. Clarkson and Moutier are checked back in as Ingles switches off to point forward. One shot for uh, Kleba. They're going to try to make a one-point game if he makes one in. Both good. Both free throws good for Maxi Kleba. It has five points. And sometimes even Passes to Clarkson outside. Clarkson, pass to Gobert. Rolls over to Moutier. Moutier against right. Pass to Clarkson. Clarkson with a shot. And a rebound by Mitch, by Donkic is good to get back from here. Pass to Kleba. Donkic for three. Unable to connect. Unable to make the three to make the to change the lead. Only nine points for Donkic. Overhand. Ingles. First two is good for Ingles. Assist by Mitchell. They are they are leading by three. In the Not for Donkic, they need they have to get back in. Hardaway Jr. covered by Clarkson. Hardaway against Clarkson. Right, the pass to Coley Stump. It's going. Oh, lost the ball. That was Moutier. Here's the fast break. And it's out of bounds. Ingles can't find an open pass as he goes off and right from the bench. How does he trend here for Bojan Bogdanovic? You guys, you would know about his game if he gets there better. Now the timeout will be called by Dallas Mavericks. 2.34 left, 35-32. They're going to need to change it up a little bit. But this might be not be long enough as we've seen some players that wants to get back in the zone. They need more health. A different look for Dallas Mavericks as Finney Smith was checked in for Do Tim Hardaway Jr. And Luka Doncic shoved out as J.J. Barea checks back in. Right finds Finney Smith. Now left is Carly Stein. Second shot for the basket for Carly Stein, no good. You're not going to see that one really well because one of each players are having some hard time keeping the shot back in. Ingles never got a chance to put it back in. Only the first half, only the second half did really well. Really well. First half went too much. Moving over to Berea, just two minutes left. Berea against Ingles. Cleva rolling around to right. Three seconds to shoot. Right shot, no good. Jazz leading by three. Moutier will try to three. If three is off the mark, Carl Stein grabs his sixth rebound. Six rebound. Pass to Cleva. Berea outside. Another screen, Carly Stein. First shot for Berea is no good. Here's the fast break. Mitchell. The three's off the mark. Neck in the neck game. Try to keep it up again. There's the shot for Berea, and it ties up by 35. There's the shot that you are really going to look for as Berea seemed to look out for something special that they were looking at. It might be appearing that J.J. Barea hasn't got with the shot bucket yet. Not only the two, but only the three was pulling up its made. When his first shot was up, he didn't reach it out. On the other hand, it was Moutier. Barea trying to keep it back in. The other hand was Mitchell. And then he went down the other way. Barea just on the wing, and there's a shot. There you go. There's the first shot. That's his first basket for Berea. Timeout, Utah. They're going to talk things over for Quinn Snyder and the rest of the players as we get back right into this. 35 score is now even. How well do you have to take? Well, there, there might be no option. 
Now let me go back with uh, with the offensive coaching em emphasis. Let's uh, put uh, limit transaction. Stay with the average, and then uh, and then we'll go for the pick and roll here. Auto of each players, and we're gonna need, and we're gonna have to watch. Uh, we gotta watch uh, Joe Ingles. Um, Dor Dorian Finney-Smith needs to be guarded on uh, Joe Ingles. Tight. Switch him up and then uh, watch behind. I'll make it the soft one. And in the middle. O'Neal's checked in for the Jazz. O'Neal's checked in for the Jazz. As Ingles is, is switched off into point four. Have been exceptional. Averaging 12 points. Nine rebounds and just over two blocks. And what sets him apart is his rebounding. And it's taken away by Wright. Eighth with the lead. Yes, Carly Stein takes the lead up by two. Great pass after the takeaway from Wright was definitely pulling him off target. We haven't seen any players that turned them the other way. Only a couple did show by. Gobert against Carly Stein. Here's O'Neal. It drops it off. And a shot for Gobert is good. They still keep it tying and tying. Say this game isn't over yet. When we're not done. We're losing some of each some of each ability. Going stronger strategy on the court. But they gotta like keep it back in to go. Five to shoot. With the right, rebounded by the Jazz, by the jazz as Rudy Gobert has still got another one. Mitchell against Berea. Ten seconds left to the third quarter. Berea trying to look something around. Clarkson for three. Tiebreaker won't be put it off since the third quarter has ended. We're going to give a quick break here and then we're going to get back on the court and see who could finish it off. We'll find out after this. Here's the assist of a game presented by State Farm. One choice make for uh, Kleba and there's one choice for uh, Brunson. When Brunson was the only first person that got drafted in the second round, he definitely got a pick. He definitely got a good feeling about uh, about Kleba and Brunson, since both team, both players are still having some good momentum here. They're, they're trying their best to keep it going. A lot of ball gamings are going all over the court. They must do it quick and right on time. Bray against O'Neal, pass to Cunley. Six forty-five left. O'Neal for three. O'Neal went missing off wide in the corner as Porzingis grabs the rebound. Borea with the lead. Yes, that goes in. That yeah, counts to three ball. Two three pointers and one two. Two pointers for the, at the free throw line. Assist by Porzingis. That's six points for Borea. Clarkson against Curry. Clarkson passes to go Curry against Clarkson. Pass to Conley. Screen on Gobert. Blocked by Porzingis, but recovered by Clarkson. And that's Kristaps' second block of the game. Brunson, pass to Porzingis. Rolls around to Powell. Rolls over Conley. It's rebounded by Curry. Now they're putting, back, putting it back with a little help on offensive rebound work in position. Porzingis for three. Good! Outside from the range is good for Porzingis. We have seen Porzingis quite some time here going from each shot and dunks. Five points for Porzingis. Jazz trailing by... Trailing by two? I don't know. After Powell with the steal, Brunson changing the fast break position. Here we go. Here's Brunson's shot. 
How hard do you feel like when you're around around Conley? You would feel like you have a right way to go to. Jazz trail by eight. Five ten to go. Jazz trailing by eight. Second minute. Roll over to Gobert to Conley. Passes to Clarkson. Here's a shot. It's rebounded by Gobert, and it puts a put back. Timeout called by Mavericks. They're Ten points. Their third timeout before uh, before uh, resuming the play. A lot more, a lot more time comes by. Looking for something good and familiar. A different look here for Dallas Mavericks. As uh, Hardaway Jr. is checked in for, for Dorian Finney-Smith, Luka Doncic is checked in for Brunson, and now let's catch it over to David Aldrich. We're going to break. I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to Ball. do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? Okay, David, much appreciated. Much appreciation. It's Powell outside, following up by a shot by Porzingis. Donkic. Donkic past the Curry. Have to find something quick here. Curry with the drive. Contact with the shot. It's Clarkson with the first personal foul. Curry will go back to the free throw line to shoot two. Quinn Snyder looking silence, not nothing to deal with the with the defenders on on defense. Two shots for Curry. Stop the clock at four. Sixteen remaining. Sixteen. And he knocks down. Knocks down the first free throw. He really enjoys playing on the court with a lot of NBA players, franchise player that he really loves, including the famous uh, player that he never had a chance to go to go head to head with, Giannis Antetokounmpo, LeBron James, Carl Anthony Towns, Devin Booker, and and last season. Last season played with Portland Trail Blazers, Damian Lillard. How well does Damian Lillard play? Well, he's playing really well. A nice shot, A nice shot for Bogdanovich. I like the fearlessness from Bogdanovich. Doesn't pay the D any mind. He enjoys sticking it to them there in the paint. Donkic rolling over to Hardaway Jr. Back to Donkic. It's stolen by Conley. Oh, here's, the fast break. here's the fast break. And what a D for Porzingis. What a stopping motion this is. When, when he's out of gas, he needs to go force jumper. What a great stop by Porzingis. Sweet move, but it went too late. That's eight rebound uh, for Gobert. Bogdanovich with the shot. It's good. Bogdanovich has got six on the That's court. six points. Luka Doncic trying to find it, trying to find the right call on offense. Conley against Doncic. Conley against Doncic. Needs some help here on offense. Four on the clock. Four o'clock. Doncic shooting the two. The two pointers off the mark. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. And no one near. No one near, and there's the lead for Clarkson. Made five more points. Five more three points than the Jazz did before the second half. Here's Curry on the outside. Fast with Porzingis. Outside, Porzingis. Porzingis, fast to Curry. Outside, Porzingis. Hardaway Jr. And it's stolen by Clark O'Neill. Here's O'Neill. Chopper O'Neill's good. Timeout, Dallas. 2.14 left. As players are having a hard time, they need to switch it something back to go with the offense. This is not going really well in game three. 
But it looks like Dallas uh, Mavericks seems like uh, they bought a good uh, good mascot here named the Champ. It's a matter of and and the Indian, that might be a Colt. That might be the back of it, not not the part of Indianapolis Colts. It's it's not quite really well enough, but uh, I'm just gonna go change another one. Anyway, that wasn't really well. I'm gonna uh, go with the flow. I'm watching Luka Doncic tying up on Conley. Say up Brian and uh, Gawato. Watch from the, uh, watch from middle, and then I'll do. Here's your Jordan player of the game for the playoff position. This one's out by Rudy Gobert. Tried to get physical with him down low tonight, and it really backfired. Yes, he only made 10 points, and that wasn't the only game that he was just recently played enough. the contact and really just... Now the crowd remains silent. And there they are. They now are chanting, let's go Mavs. Doncic takes the curve. Two minutes remaining. To stop the run. Rebound, Utah. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. Don't call the offensive foul a defensive foul here, Hardaway Jr. No blocking foul was being recently pushed up by. Hardaway Jr. grabs the uh, grabs the rebound. Here's Donkic. Three! Good! Timeout, Utah. Assist by Hardaway Jr. This is how the town comes back. Maybe Utah wasn't looking out, looking out surprisingly late without an amazing shot for Luka Donkic. Everybody's having some good time here to get back into action. Going for two to three, and then I'm going to... Uh, Watch the transaction. Let's just find some play throughs. This <clears throat> for Persingus. And then uh, push the pace a little more. <clears throat> no substitute changes yet for the Jazz and Dallas. Here's uh here's Conley. Conley with the ball. Mitchell outside. Pass back to Tunley. Bounce pass and open pass wide look for Rudy Gobert. 12 points for Rudy Gobert. Hardaway Jr. looking around. Reaching foul will go on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul. The one, two on one will be Seth Curry. Oh, he'll take his fragment. Well, no, no worry about that. That's what, that's what they were looking at. That might be a fragment foul that was happened. Donkic against Conley. To lead. He cuts it. What an amazing shot for Donkic. And his score has changed. Right, just under a minute. 14 points for Donkic. Game three was a crazy run. Just like uh, round one. Donovan Mitchell unable to connect the three. Howell with the ball. Pass to Curry. Feel it out. Here's Curry. Passes to Hardaway Jr. Take the three. Rebounded it's rebounded by, by Conley. Six seconds Under 30 three. seconds to go. To Hardaway point. Jr. And there's a dunk by Mitchell. Final timeout called by Mavericks. Not only the deep pass was being thrown by Joe Ingles, but that's his first assist that was been ever played recently. This is where great coaching can pay dividends. These are the players. Now we're gonna have to like. Now we're, we're gonna have to make it sure. Uh, we gotta make. We gotta make a, a quick judgment here and find something out. Out really hard. Two man action here. 
no. Let's just go with uh, easy subjects motion. And find out what is happening from here. Just under, just almost 20 seconds left. Curry against Mitchell. Curry finds Porzingis. Yes, Porzingis. He kicks the clock. Donkic going to take a look. 10 seconds left. Looking for some buzz beater. Here's a shot. Powell with the win. Yes! Woo! Powell with the stop of the run. Flick of a switch. Did you guys just see how Powell did? He pals that right in. Amazing run. Not looking comfortable, not tired on the run. But he's good. What a shot this is. And all the fans are goes wild. With my last pick, uh, that's it. I don't need to make any switches. It looks like the game is over. Last possession for the Jazz. And that will come to it. No, no win for the Jazz, and that will be the Mavericks' third streak win, three to zero. Fifty-six to fifty-four is your final score, and with an unstoppable run that's saved by D.Y. Powell with an, a flick of a switch. Yes, Jazz is Jazz are still losing its losing its patience. By not looking too comfortable on the court for Donovan Mitchell. Now let's send you over to David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. KP, you guys got out on the break tonight. How did you get into transition so easily? Uh, yeah, we want to play faster, and that's what we try to do whenever they miss. We try to run, move the ball quick, and get easy buckets. And you were able to beat him down the floor tonight, KP. Thanks a lot for your time. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you so much for tuning in. We'd like to say thank you all for watching for the NBA playoffs of the second round. This has been a great game since uh, since the cold has coming out to the first or second half. Not for longer, most impressive uh, players are doing really well on the court. So with that being said, game four will be on its way back uh, as the Jazz will be uh, rematching the Mavericks again. And then it will be... Back in Game 3, it will be Milwaukee Bucks taking on against the Toronto Raptors at Toronto. And then, Sixers at Miami. And finally, it's Lakers at Houston. So with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. As until next time, peace out, bitches, for us all. It's a NBA playoff dial. So long, everyone.